All right, what's up, guys? We have a new deck profile today. We, today we are doing Crystal Beasts. I am doing it actually on here, not physically. Uh, let me know if this is something that you guys like over physical deck profiles. I, you know, it could go either way. Um, for me, it's just cool that I get to do these deck profiles sometimes before the cards even come out. I can do them a little bit early. I can start, uh, you know, discussing some of the theories. I can show the combos in a really, really clean fashion. You guys can see the effects on screen. Uh, it's really up to you guys, whichever one uh, you like to see better. But let's start this deck profile we're playing for the Crystal Beast. Obviously, the structure that came out, super, super excited for that. Uh, we have a combo at the end of this video, so check that out uh, if you can. Uh, so let's play, uh, let's show what we're playing here, right? We're playing two copies of Rainbow Dragon. Uh, this card is just, basically, you just kind of need it for the new spell card, which is the Awakening of the Crystal Lord. Also, uh, you get to search it absolutely free of charge with the Crystal Beast Zenith. Uh, so most of the time it's actually fairly easy to summon as you'll see in the combo at the end of this video you basically summon it every single time that you uh, if you if you go full combo you go through all your crystal beasts you get to summon this card uh, it's typically actually pretty easy to summon uh, then we've got crystal be the zenith uh, this, that's the like English name on here. They only have like the OCG name. Uh, this card has a few different effects that are actually pretty cool. So it's a Crystal Beast monster uh, in name. So it actually does go to your back row just like any other Crystal Beast, which is pretty cool. And it's another name. So there are eight Crystal Beasts out there instead of just seven now. Uh, on top of that, it has a really, really cool effect where if you if a, a attack is declared involving a crystal beast monster you can special summon this from your hand uh, so if your opponent attacks you and you have a crystal beast monster or you attack with your crystal beast monster you can summon this for free also this just so happens if your opponent is if you're playing the mirror match and your opponent attacks with a crystal beast monster and like even if they don't attack a crystal beast monster you control you can still special summon this from your hand uh which is really cool and then its most important effect is that when this card's in your back row you can banish it and then special summon a crystal beast monster from your deck and if you do you can add an ultimate crystal monster which of course is the rainbow dragon so super 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 duper good card uh, it basically turns uh crystal beast sapphire pegasus into a pretty decent combo because you can just activate uh, you could just summon this, put this in your back row, activate, search this, and then, of course, um, special summon another one from your deck. And now you have uh, two Crystal Beast monsters on the field. You have rank four plays, and you have this so that this card is live. It's just a really, really, really strong card. Uh, next, we play one copy of Gigantus. This is important for the combo. It can also be that other Earth monster that you can summon by banishing an Earth monster from the graveyard. Uh, it could be either one. Uh, Rock Spirit. Uh, then we have three copies of Sapphire Pegasus, probably the best card in the entire archetype. Like it's it's a really really strong card. Uh, it's a non once per turn on normal or special summon. You can set a Crystal Beast into your back row. Really really strong. Um, next we've got Amber Mammoth. Uh, the, all of these other Crystal Beast names aren't very good, but we just play them because uh, you need them to actually summon like the Rainbow Dragon and the Over Dragon and the Super Duper Over Dragon. Uh, you need them, so we play them. Uh, Amber Mammoth has a Lightning Rod effect. Uh, this gains 400 attack when it attacks. Uh, this lets you put a Crystal Beast monster on top of your deck that you control. This lets you attack directly, but the damage is half, so you attack for 600. Uh, this lets you change battle position after the battle phase, which is kind of dumb. And then this one is actually good, Ruby Carbuncle. It basically, when it hits the field, you can special summon all of the Crystal Beasts in your back row to the field, but we only have to play one copy of it. Uh, in the combo version of the deck because we have such easy access to it uh, through a variety of different means like Dugaris and stuff like that and the Bond, uh, I mean Beacon. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of access to get to this card so we don't have to play more than one copy. Uh, we play three copies of Ash. It's generally, it comes with the structure deck so you really have no excuse this time and it's a pretty cheap hand trap and that, that's, you know, it comes with the structure deck and it's pretty good. It hits at least one card in every single deck. Uh, we play three copies of Crystal Bond. Again, one of the better cards in the deck lets you add a Crystal Beast and place the Crystal Beast into your back row. Now, Rainbow Bridge, this card is written like a card made in like 2003. It is a non-hard once per turn. Not once per turn at all. Add one Crystal Spawn Trap card from your deck to your hand. Not once per turn whatsoever. Uh, love this card. Love the way it's written. Three copies of Pot of Desires just got reprinted. No excuses, guys. Uh, just got reprinted. Honestly, yeah, stick to this one. Probably stay away from the... Uh, extravagance on this one we are not playing the control build we are not <laughs> i am not running mystic mine i'm not doing it i'm not interested in doing it i don't care what the ban list said i am not running mystic mine uh and then we're playing crystal beacon this is a part of the combo it lets you special summon if you have two crystal beasts in your back row uh two copies of cosmic cyclone because 
Mystic Mind didn't get banned. Let's play the outs. And uh, three copies of the new card. This is a new card in the structure deck, Awakening of the Crystal Lord. Or the crystal, uh, Awakening of the Crystal Ultimates. Basically what it does is if you control an Ultimate Crystal Beast Monster, an Ultimate Crystal Monster, you can activate both of the effects. But if you have one in your hand, you can activate one of the following effects. So what it can basically do is it either lets you add a Rainbow Bridge or Rainbow Retraction, which re Refraction we are not playing, but it can let you add a Rainbow Bridge to your hand, which essentially Rainbow Bridge gives you access to any crystal spawn trap card so you basically can search rainbow bridge which searches any crystal spawn trap card or you can special summon a crystal beast monster from your hand deck or graveyard or spawn trap card zone and all of those effects are really good obviously most of the time you summon pegasus but also you can summon ruby carbuncle and then summon everything from your back row really really strong card it turns this card into not a brick uh, it makes zenith so much better like this card is really really good and it's a quick play which I love quick plays. Uh, next, we're playing Forbidden Droplets. Uh, this is one of the best cards just in general to play in this deck because a lot of the times with Crystal Beast, you will put various Crystal Beast monsters into your back row. Like, let's say you don't go full combo. Uh, you, you know, your opponent has like two hand traps to stop you or something like that. You don't go full combo. Forbidden Droplets is really good because you get a lot of free value off of like Sapphire Pegasus and uh, Crystal Bond and stuff like that. It puts a lot of monsters into your back row. And Forbidden Droplets basically allows you to send them to the graveyard and you can negate like a full board of your opponent's cards if you wanted to just because you have so many like free monsters in your back row that really aren't even doing anything. Uh, super strong card in this deck. Uh, we play three copies of Bridge of the Heart. Another new card, gotta explain it. Basically it gives you an extra normal summon that's already like super key uh, because sometimes you sometimes just having like one sapphire pegasus isn't quite enough uh so having an extra normal summon is really helpful on top of that it has another effect where you can destroy a crystal beast monster uh, that you control so back row or on your monster zone and then you can add a crystal beast monster a crystal beast a crystal spawn trap card from your deck to your hand uh, which again is really really strong because it gets you crystal bond it gets you crystal beacon it gets you um, a lot of different important cards uh, crystal uh, concave uh, crystal ultimates all of this stuff it searches any one of these oh and the counter trap how could i forget the counter trap uh, but yeah very strong card and then it has another effect where if a crystal beast card is placed into your back row into your spawn trap card zone you can target a card your opponent controls and return it and this card and you could just re if it's your turn you can just reactivate this card so it literally doesn't even matter it's just it's it's a bounce for no reason that doesn't hurt you and on top of that if your spawn trap card zones are like getting filled up that might actually help you um so yeah awesome 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 new card a lot of the new cards are actually really really cool uh we play one copy of crystal concave a lot of people don't play this in the combo version but i actually really like this card in the grind game uh because it basically um if they if they hand trap you or stop you in some way crystal concave allows you to play a little bit more uh, just because it, it lets you like spit out uh, crystal beast monsters pretty easily uh, and of course it's got that cool bounce effect which is uh, really helpful and then we play two copies of the counter trap you could cut this down to one if you're trying to get to like 40 straight uh, but this counter trap is really good basically you just destroy a crystal beast monster you control and um, if your opponent activates monster small trap you destroy a crystal beast monster you control and uh, yeah negate it uh, negate and destroy so really good easy to fill counter trap again uh, the crystal beasts give you a lot of free what is it called like free uh, free cards in your back row that don't do much in certain situations so it's good to actually have cards like this to to do something with them uh, crystal concave this it actually allows you to do something with the cards and it has a graveyard effect too uh, where um, you can banish it from your graveyard and then you can place a Crystal Beast Monster into your uh, back row, which is really, really cool. Um, yeah, if a Crystal Beast Monster is placed into your spawn trap cards, or you basically place another one. Uh, helps you fulfill Beacon and Carbuncle, stuff like that. It helps you, it helps you do stuff, which is really cool. Uh, now for the extra deck, we play one Rainbow Over Dragon, uh, which you need to play so that you can summon... Uh, yeah, Rainbow Dra Over, Over Dragon is just really good. It's a fusion monster, and it helps you, again, combo to get to with Cross Sheep because it's a fusion summon. Uh, we play Rainbow Dragon Overdrive, which is like this... Basically, Rainbow Over Dragon is like this card on, on Crack, and then this card is like this card on Meth. It's like, it's insane. It's like on another level. It's like really, really strong. Um, basically, this card is an effect where a quick effect can just shuffle all the cards you control. All cards, 
on the field back into their back into the deck that effect is already crazy it's like a zeus but 100 times better because it goes to the extra deck and then you've got the rainbow dragon overdrive which is even crazier it gains uh, if you have seven different crystal beasts in your banish pile which you need to do to summon this card uh, you can actually uh, this card gains 7,000 attack you essentially win if you're going second and you successfully summon this and it has a quick effect where you contribute this card shuffle basically all the cards on the field um into uh, and all the cards into the from the field uh, back into the deck and then you can special summon any amount of banished crystal beast monsters which you will have because you need it for the summoning requirement of this card like uh, this card is really really strong and what i love about these two fusions is they're actually uh, they're actually kind of like contact fusions you essentially just get to summon them for free uh, this is basically like you summon by banishing and this you summon by tributing uh, this thing which is pretty good you don't need to run polymerization you don't need to run any bricks it's pretty cool it's an easy free summon uh, we play one copy of Zeus because we're playing an exceed package uh, one Gallant Granite to search the Gigantis for a clay extension one Tornado Dragon because Mystic Mind didn't get hit uh, one number 41 because it's good against uh, decks that don't link summon uh, one abyss dweller because it's good against tier limits and sprites dugaris is a combo extender appaloosa obviously very good uh, we've got chaos which i've actually opted to play over access code because it requires less and, and in some cases actually does more and it's very easy to summon because we play like zenith and rainbow dragon stuff like that and then we've got one unicorn one phoenix one cross sheep uh, which is needed for the combo one ip because it's just a really good link too and then cherubini which again is needed for the combo because we do actually play some level threes in this deck that we need to get in the graveyard uh these are some optional cards that you can play obviously access code you can play another copy of the counter trap if you wanted to uh, recently i've just playing playing one because it is searchable but it's really not even bad to open in your opening hand like it's it's good like generally speaking it's a good card it's a good interruption and then this is another option that you can play uh, basically it's pendulum effect is uh, your opponent opponent cannot target uh, ultimate crystal and crystal beast monsters that you control crystal beast cards in general that you control uh, this is good because if you like if you activate this in your pendulum zone and you normal summon crystal beast sapphire pegasus they can't implement they can't uh, affect valor for example so that effect is pretty cool it just gives you protection um and then it also has another effect where you can, if it's monster effect, you can tribute this card and then you can add a ultimate crystal or crystal beast monster uh, or a crystal spawn trap card from your deck to your hand. Again, that effect really isn't bad at all uh, because you can either add this or any of the crystal spawn trap cards or any of the monsters. So it's like, it's not a bad effect. It's just, it, it sucks that it, it, it tributes itself off the board. Um, yeah it's kind of the only problem and it's not a crystal beast monster so you're not getting the extra normal summon uh, but mostly you're just playing this for like the protection it's just an optional card i thought i'd show you uh but yeah let's get to the combo portion all right so now we're in the combo portion so basically what we're going to do here you have to start with uh crystal bond which of course you have multiple copies of crystal bond because you have crystal bridge searches searches the crystal bond and then we've got the rainbow bridge heart which rainbow bridge heart actually also searches crystal bond um yeah both of these are like pretty common starts in the deck also you can do this combo with more cards but this is just the most simple way to do it uh, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to activate the crystal bond and now with the crystal bond we are going to add sapphire pegasus and then we are going to put into our back row one of these three you can choose either cobalt eagle topaz tiger or amber mammoth either one is fine as long as it's one of the level fours and not one of the level three so we're just going to put the cobalt eagle there now we're going to normal summon the Sapphire Pegasus. Activate the effect of Sapphire Pegasus. Can't be ashed. I love this effect. Uh, to put Sapphire Pegasus into the back row. Now we will activate our Bridge of the Heart. And we're going to activate the on-field effect of Bridge of the Heart. Again, if you have another, like, if you have more extenders, this combo just becomes better and better because this gives you an extra normal summon. Uh, but obviously we just started two cards, so we don't. Uh, we're going to destroy our Sapphire Pegasus and since it's being destroyed we're going to place it into the back row and then we are going to search the crystal beacon so that's basically we activate this effect it destroys a crystal beast monster on the field can be in the back row or in the front row and then it basically allows us to search a crystal card uh, is it a crystal uh, spawn trap card it's just another way to search crystal spawn trap cards really cool uh, now we're going to activate crystal beacon if we control two or more crystal beasts in our back row we can special summon one from our deck 
We're going to activate that. That's one of our one ofs. And we are going to special summon our Carbuncle. Ruby Carbuncle. Carbuncle will activate its effect on summon to special summon all these guys out onto the field. So we're going to do that now. We're going to summon all of them. The Cobalt and the two Sapphire Pegasus. Pegasus is not once per turn, uh, which is one of the really cool parts of the old Yu-Gi-Oh era. Uh, nothing is really once per turn, so you can kind of like abuse all the old effects. Uh, we're going to use it to grab the Rainbow Dragon. And then we are also going to use it to grab... Uh, it's really up to you what you grab here. It doesn't like really, really matter as long as it's not one of the level threes. Just leave the level threes alone. Wait to uh, do the level three. So we're just going to grab it. Doesn't matter. Topaz or Amber. Literally doesn't matter. Grab one of them because uh, we're going to get all of them in the graveyard anyway. Uh, now we're going to activate the effect of Crystal Dragon, the Zenith monster. Uh, we're going to activate that. It's going to banish itself. And now I can special summon from the deck a Crystal Beast monster. Uh, now you have to pick one of the level threes, either Emerald Tortoise or Amethyst Cat. Literally does not matter which one you pick, but just pick one of them. Uh, so we're going to summon the Tortoise. And then we are going to add a Rainbow Dragon for free. This card is really, really good. It basically allows you to, it basically allows you to banish itself and then summon and add. It's like a plus. It's really, really good. It's a plus one. Um, yeah, so we're going to do that. Now we are going to special summon. We're going to use Cherubini. We're going to use the Tortoise and the Carbuncle to summon a Cherubini to the field. We're going to activate the effect of Cherubini to send a level three to the graveyard, which is going to be our Amethyst Cat. Uh, it's going to gain attack points, but that is literally irrelevant because we're going to link it away anyway. Uh, now we're going to special summon again. Uh, we are going to go into an XYZ summon here, which is the Dugaris. Uh, these two, it doesn't matter which ones. Again, as long as one of them is a Sapphire Pegasus. Activate the effect of Dugaris. We're going to use the second effect of Dugaris to special summon from the graveyard. Detach both of these, and since we detach it for cost, we can actually summon the same Sapphire Pegasus right back. Activate the Sapphire Pegasus for a fourth time this turn uh, to get the only card still in our deck, the only Crystal Beast we haven't summoned yet, uh, the Amber Mammoth, to the field. And now we are going to make another XYZ summon, which is going to be the Galliant Granite. So we're going to summon the Galliant Granite, activate its effect. Uh, right here, you have to detach, obviously. You have to make sure you have all of them in the graveyard, so we're going to detach that to add the Gigantus. Uh, yep, we're going to add the Gigantus, and now we're going to go into a link play real quick. We are going to summon Cross Sheep using the Cherubini, and the Galleon Granite or the Dugaris doesn't matter. Summon Cross Sheep, and now, since we have all of the Crystal Beasts in either our graveyard or... Either our graveyard or on the field, we can actually special summon the Rainbow Dragon, which is super duper awesome. Um, I just love this card's effect. I love everything about it. The quick effect uh, that it has is absolutely insane. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's really, really cool. So we get to special summon it for free. Super easy to summon. And now we are going to actually contact fuse it away into a rainbow over dragon so we're going to special summon it to a zone link cross points to since we fusion summon to a zone link cross points to we can activate the effect of link cross in order to special summon ruby carbuncle which is also not once per turn and since ruby carbuncle is special summon we can activate its effect to special summon the two uh, crystal beasts that we have in our spawn trap card zone so now this is almost close to our end board uh, we can do a few different things here but uh, first, we're going to make an Appaloosa using the Cross Sheep, the Over Dragon, and the Dugaris. Uh, that may seem not so great, like you'd want to keep this, but believe me, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to summon the Appaloosa, and now we're going to go into an XYZ summon. Uh, well, actually, first we're going to go into a Link summon here. We're going to go into the IP. We're going to use 1 and 2 to go into the IP. Uh, this will allow us to tag out during our opponent's turn. Then we're going to Special Summon the Gigantus banishing the Galleon Granite and now we can go into another XYZ summon here which uh, this this requires a little bit of uh, decision making here uh, so you can either make the Abyss Dweller this is generally good against tier limits and it's also good against sprites and it's also just good against a lot of different meta decks that use the graveyard so this is pretty good generally to go into if you don't know what your opponent's playing uh, you can go into the Baguska because you have you end on two Link monsters anyway, so Baguska is pretty good. Uh, Baguska is very good against like a Fallen of Albaz deck, for example. It's, it's good against decks 
uh, or or um, Sword Soul. Sword Soul, Despia, stuff like that. This is very good. Baguska is very good against those decks uh, because they don't link summon. So you just change everything to defense mode, negate their effects. If they summon a Luber, it's negated. If they summon uh, Muyi, it's negated. Like it's, it's very good against decks that don't use link monsters. Uh, this is very good against graveyard decks. And then this is to cover up for the mistake that Konami just didn't ban Mystic Mine. Uh, but it's up to you. Generally, if I don't know what my opponent's playing, I'm at a regional. I'm just going to go for the Abyss Dweller because I'm going to assume they're probably playing tier limits or sprites because uh, they um, are the best decks in the game right now. So I'm going to make the Abyss Dweller there. And now we have a ton. We have virtually all of the Crystal Beasts in the graveyard or in the Banish Pile. So we can actually spe special summon the Rainbow Dragon Overdrive. Uh, we just banish one, two. We've got to make sure we banish one of each of these three. Four, five, six, seven, and I believe, what else do we have to banish here? We'll banish one of these, there you go. So we're going to banish all of those. This will hit the field, and uh, since we have a bunch of banished ones, since we have at least seven banished crystal beasts, we can actually, yeah, we have at least seven crystal, banished crystal beasts. This actually gains 7,000 attack. Uh, so this is our end board. We have an Appaloosa with three negates. We have an IP to tag into whatever we want to, which is, uh, remember, we only started with two cards, so we can tag into uh, uh, the Phoenix or Unicorn. So Phoenix, if things get dicey and they have, like, some sort of floodgate, and then we've got Unicorn, just general spin. Uh, with the Mascarina, we have, obviously, three monster negates, Abyss Dwellers, a full turn floodgate of no graveyard effects and also we could have made obviously this one or this one right here a uh, back row removal or just floodgate all around and then of course you've got the rainbow over dragon which this has one of the craziest effects ever it's even better than zeus in a lot of ways it's literally zeus but you shuffle everything away and then you float into all of your crystal beast monsters right after you shuffle everything away it's absolutely insane um, it's one of the best removal effects in Yu-Gi-Oh, which is to shuffle everything back into the deck because your opponent, there's no graveyard effects, there's no banish effects, and since you're shuffling back into the deck, uh, this is very good in the new in the newer Master Rule because monsters that are uh, returned from the fee, extra deck monsters that are returned to the, from the field to their to the extra deck, uh, their their effects don't trigger if it says like when it leaves the field. So this is an insane form of removal, really, really, really strong uh, card here. Uh, but that is the combo. You could also do the combo, obviously. You don't have to have those specific cards. But you can also do this combo just by having, like, you know, the regular, just a couple of uh, uh, Crystal Beasts in your hand, Sapphire Pegasus. You could just try to combo off without having to have those specific cards. Uh, but it's also a very consistent combo because it's something you see all the time. Uh, but yes, if you enjoyed this video, uh, obviously leave a like. If you would like to see more Crystal Beast combos, let me know in the comment section down below. Or if you have any suggestions for Crystal Beast combos, definitely put them down below. That way other viewers can uh, kind of learn from that. But thank you for watching.